get all your stressors out and share it with someone. What stresses you, what pisses you off, whatever works for you. So what are we supposed to do about it? Let's summarize this up to now for you. What's a professional to do? Because we gotta run a business. Or we gotta be employable. We gotta figure out what our next career is gonna be. What are we supposed to do? Well, in summary, you really need to understand the sexual characteristics in dealing with stress. Understand those gender roles, they're really important. Once you understand them, I want you to really respect your male or your female counterparts. Allowing yourself then to be different and unique as a result of it, okay? And, of course, then you need to develop an effective brand or presence around it. Manage your stress, have your goals, be effective, have an intention behind what you want people to perceive of you and your business. Figure out that joy element. Stop and address your stress. Seriously, how long are you gonna keep running through it? You know, dentists have been told they have a high stress profession. How can you keep going through it without taking some steps to alleviate it, okay? You're, you're not indestructible. And here we go into the time management portion. Managing your time well, utilizing it well. So how many of you guys utilize your time well? One person, two, three. You're in the wrong workshop. No, I'm good, I'm glad you admit it. That's good. We can all learn something from one another. So the goal, yes? Can you go over the, the explanation of the, have an effective brand presence? Well, it's the whole concept that we're working on. The whole concept of brand development that we're talking about in here. Having an intention behind your brand. She asked to go over what it means to have an effective brand. You'll know you have an effective brand if you're in your happy place all the time and people are just wanting to do business.